Two-factor authentication. Take one. Hi, I'm Andy. And I'm Cam. Cam, I'm pretty sure I can guess your PIN code in 9,999 tries. Well, actually, it's 10,000 because you forgot 0000. zero, zero, zero. I did forget to do that too. guess your pin number well dude saying like pin number is like saying like your my personal identification number number that's like saying the automated teller machine machine like guess they code or something okay I get it I can guess your pin code by going 0001, 0002, and I think I can get in your bank account. Well, I actually have six reasons why you cannot do that. They all include TF or 2FA. And the reasons are, first of all, like you, I bet you don't have enough patience to do it. Second That's of true. all, you, you, it'll lock right after five tries. Third of all, you I need my that. card. I do need your card. And fourth of all, you need the code on the back of my card. I do need the code. And fifth of all, you'll probably like forget one knowing you or skip one knowing you. You'll probably need to sit up straight in your chair. You're not my dad. That's true. I'm not your dad. But if I wanted to sneak on to a website, I still think I could guess your code and go onto a website as you. Well, first of all, it's creepy. And second of all, it, um, you're going to need two things to get into the code, or my password. First of all, you're going to need my username and my password. And if you just press the forget password thing, you're going to need something like my dog's name, my school, at, my um, street address, and the first school I went to. Well, there you have it. Two-factor authentication explained by an expert to all of you. I'm glad I was here to help. And uh, watch for future videos. Uh, we can be more helpful. So if you do enjoy, please hit that like button down below. More facts on 2FA will be in this video.